Hey guys, Mistmaster1 here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we began our journey to collect all 120 green stars across the game, and we blew through our first eight in the first three galaxies of World 1, Sky Station Galaxy. Oh, I, I had a heart attack because I didn't- I forgot that it flip swaps all the way over here. I was like, oh my god, I lost progress, but that's okay. Uh, through Sky Station Galaxy, Yoshi Star Galaxy, and Flip Swap Galaxy, we have ourselves a total of eight green stars collected. And in this episode- ooh, more star bits. I'll get some of those. And in this episode, let us continue on to Spindy Galaxy for our next set of green stars we're gonna pick up. And I have to say, I forgot to mention this in the last video, but for a long time, like when this game first came out in like May of 2010 or whatever it was, uh, a lot of people thought that it was a myth when people said there was like 242 stars. People thought they were just doing 120 or 121 like they did in the first Mario Galaxy game. So when people actually found out, oh hey, there is like another whole 120 stars you have to collect. It wasn't quite in the way that people were expecting, but nonetheless, people were like, oh my god, pretty much. Like, that, that was an understatement. That was heavily... Like, like, whatever the word is, like, that's an under-exaggeration, like, the, for the type of reaction people had. It was pretty crazy. Like, especially me, I actually couldn't believe it. And trying to find all 120 of these, 20 of these green stars on my own, which, yes, especially for when I did practice here, I actually was able to find every single green star on my own when I was, you know, working, uh, building save, like, another save file I'm practicing on to actually find. Speaking of which, we have our first green star coming up actually right here. And this might throw people off a bit. It's over there, actually, and you might think to yourself, huh, well, I don't know exactly how to get up there because, you know, we need to use the drill, right? We have to, like, drill underneath or some, something. How do you get up there? There's, like, no way to really do that. You want to know something? Hang on. I have to drill back up to the front. Uh, let's take damage really quick. Believe it or not, it's actually, uh, a lot of these as well, you just don't overcomplicate because they actually are that simple. Lose the drill by taking damage. Uh, literally, all you have to do, get up against this grating here. And, uh, just get on top like this. And there you go. That is our first green star of the video. Some of them look... Like, that's a... Like, I don't know. There's, you could just categorize green stars in a bunch of ways. There's ones that are extremely easy regardless. Some that look easy but are very hard to get. Some that look hard to get that but are very easy like that one. And they basically just require you to use a little, you know, ob... Like, not obtuse thing, but just, like, out-of-the-box thinking, really. Like, you think to yourself, how would you actually get over there? Like, deduct all your possibilities... And do not rule out very simple solutions because, believe it or not, more often than not, the very simplest way of attempting to get a star is actually the proper way when it comes to these things. I don't know, it may not seem like as big of a deal right now, but trust me, later when I say that, some green stars are going to look like literally impossible to get, but if you just persevere and really think out of the box, it's actually more than possible to get some of these. Well, I mean, it is, because it is possible to get every single green star. People have 100% of the game through and through. It's not like they're impossible, but some of them can get very difficult. Anyway, now coming up here, we just went through that whole normal phase of this planet. There's no green stars left on this planet. Instead, the next green star is actually going to come from this planet right here. And this might be a bit sketchy, but just hear me out on it. Uh, if you want to make your life really easy, just kill off all the enemies that are around here. Won't really... Well, you don't even have to do that. Just get over here. Uh, let's get rid of that Goomba, or Paragoomba. Eh, uh, now. Um, okay, yeah, now he's gone. I'm poor Goomba, I feel bad for that. But yes, the green star is right there, and it's above these disappearing platforms, so what we have to do is actually time this accordingly. So, one, two, we have to triple jump up here. There we go, I almost fell because, like, I was at the very edge of the second set, and the third set disappeared right at the end there, but we persevered. I keep using that word, I need to stop saying that, it's getting a little redundant. And now we're off to Green Star 3, which will deal with the second main power star of this level, the one where we have to collect the Silver Stars normally, because the first two Green Stars had to deal with the actual Mecha Leg boss fight, but in this one, no, not, not quite. And there's, there's like, this particular Green Star causes a lot of questions, because people believe that if you don't do a very, per if you do a certain thing in this level, you actually kind of get screwed out of being able to do anything. Which, if, if you actually, if you're wondering, yes, I just skipped an entire portion where Cosmic Clones come after you because I never touched the ground after the fact once the level started. I actually just made it all the way to the Sling Star. Now, when you get to this particular portion here, a lot of people think... Uh, actually, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let me just get a little bit farther into this. 
Uh, let me spin drill here. And a lot of people think in this instance, like, you have to lose the drill like that in order to get this green star right here. Um, that's actually not the case. I'm, I'm just gonna do this to prove something, but you could obviously, you know, just, like, backflip, wall jump, and then, like, you know, spin grab the star there. But people think it's actually impossible to get the thing with this because... Uh, you're, you can't obviously get the, you can't use the spin for anything, but if you actually do a running jump from the very back here, like so, do a triple jump off the wall like that, it is possible to get the green star without damaging yourself. You can do it either way, but just proving the fact that you can get it without having to get hit by the enemy there. That was, like, I don't know, I remember seeing one video where it's like, this this green star sucks because if you accidentally kill the enemy there, you basically have to redo the level. Which, in general, isn't even that bad because you barely have to redo anything. But at the same tr time, it's like, it's that's not even true either. You can just do it like that. And it doesn't really matter. They, they And a lot of these, they actually do allow you to get them in a couple ways. I don't know if I go that far. I don't know how to word that properly. There's not a lot of instances where you can actually get sealed off from getting a green star permanently. Unless you actually leave the, the area, obviously. Now, all that's been said and done. What we're going to do now is head to the right side down galaxy. We're sprucing things up here, ladies and gentlemen. We are not saving a two-star galaxy till last. This one's actually pretty unique. Because obviously, I mean, I've already gone into why every galaxy is unique in their own way, but in, if you look really closely, like during this little trend, like the little preview thing here, that's one more thing I want to mention also. If you pay very close attention to some of these previews, like it gives you a little demo of what the level looks like beforehand, on a few occasions you can actually see a green star in its actual, like the generic location of a green star. Oh my, I just got absolutely destroyed, that was good. But yeah, you can actually see where a green star is before you even get into the level itself. So, in other cases like that, to go along with aiding you in searching for the green stars, kind of look out for that when you're actually starting a level, because sometimes they will literally just flat out tell you where it is, and that's one instance where it is. And we saw that it's right before the portion, right before... Oh, what the heck? No, dude, come on. I think you can actually get over this guy, like, if you really tried. Yeah, <laughs> I actually never done that before. That's pretty great. I was kind of experimenting with that, and it actually worked. That's fun. Get over here and our basic goal here is to just get to where you know obviously the friggin i'm losing my train of thought here let's get to the mid section of the level where the gravity kind of gets all weirdy which i mean this gra the gravity in this level is already weird also if you're very i might get myself killed for doing this but if you're actually really crafty here please make that okay you can actually get down to this part of the level with the gravity kind of flipped opposite as to where it should be and this actually makes the level a little bit different. You're meant to hit a switch that's earlier up in the level to actually get past here, but that's just one way you can actually manage it, like so. Okay, and we've just gotten past that part. Here's the halfway part, almost. We got ourselves our fire flower once again. If you listen very carefully, you can actually start to hear. Like, I just heard the green star very faintly. Oh no, okay. I almost got myself killed right there because if you're underneath a box when it falls like so, uh, you kind of die. I went over that in like episode four or five or something like that. Don't do that, it's not a good idea. Um, star bits, like, if you want, get them. They're not, they're kind of important for something, which, to be fair, like, I'm kind of avoiding exactly what that is, but also try to collect as many star bits as you can. Like, even when you're going through this game basically a second time, collecting new stars in the same galaxies you've been to. Because there is one particular thing you're going to need a total of 9,999 star bits to get. Uh, and I'll go into more detail when the time comes for that. But yeah, this green star can be a bit tricky. What you're gonna want to do here is get, like, up here and then spin, like, right as soon as the gravity flips back to normal. Get far up in the top there while the gravity is, like, flipped, like, 90 degrees. And then a spin once it flips back to its other, like, sort of gravitational pull, you'll get across just fine. I know some of you might be thinking, Mist, if you, uh, if you were really going on about that whole thing where you really need to get 9,999 star bits, why am I skipping a lot of potential star bits when I'm still basically, I pretty much have only a couple hundred star bits to my name now after the whole spiel with the Hungry Lumas across the game, and that's because I actually have a little thing to, well, not really a secret per se, but just a little fact of information, is that, uh, the way this game works across, um, uh, Okay, <laughs> that was interesting. Now, the way this game works is that 
if you have a file that already has 9,999 star bits, you can basically put them in the bank toad on that file, and they transfer to every bank toad on every file, and there's three files in the game. I've already gotten 9,999 star bits on another file, and I'll be going into more detail exactly how that's going to benefit later, but just so that you know, uh, if you don't have 9,999 star bits, there's se there are second green star, by the way, uh, then uh, work towards that, because you're going to want it if you want every single star in this game. Alrighty, we got right side down and spin dig all taken care of, and now we're gonna end this video off by taking on the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Like I said in the last video, I'm going on average for 8 stars, although there will be some episodes I get 7, and then I think there might be a, a couple where I get 9 to sort of balance out that thing again, because I've tried basically tried to work it out so I get 8 stars and complete 3 galaxies in the same video, but that's not gonna be possible with what I kinda wanna do, because I basically just wanna go down the line. And to substitute for that, I will basically be doing, you know, uh, a couple, a couple galaxies that aren't exact, that don't exactly fulfill the criteria for eight stars, but also three galaxies per video is what I'm shooting for as a long-term goal. Here's Fluffy Bluff, and our first green star is, funnily enough, right at the very beginning. Like, right above- oh, you can't even see it. It's actually really high up in the air. Right above us from- we still can't see it. Okay, we can kind of see it there. And simply put, you know, this is- this is Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. What do we have in this galaxy? We have the ever so overly used, uh, Cloud Flower power-up, so let's go over there. I love this power-up to death, but again, it- I do agree with someone who mentioned earlier, like, in one of the comments of one of my videos, they're like, the Cloud Flower is really overused compared to a lot of the other power-ups, and that's where the game kind of falters. But I still love this game nonetheless. So basically, don't touch any water on the way back, otherwise you'll lose the Cloud Mario power-up. Jump up here, spin, jump up here again. Make sure these are backflips so you're maximizing on the height, like so. And then there you are. You will have yourself the first green star of Fluffy Bluff. And you can kind of see the second one in these camera shots right there in the top, re top left of the screen. You could have seen it there. Well, now that we have the first green star completely squared away, we have these stupid angry bird wannabe birds after us. Get out of my way. Uh, the second green star, like I said just a moment ago, is actually very close to the first one. Uh, make sure you don't use your... The only catch here is just make sure you don't use your cloud power up, like, super early. You want to save every cloud you can because they're getting a lot of height is really crucial to this. Get up to around here where you're along this wall. And then you're basically just gonna backflip and wall kick and then spin again off the wall until you reach the second green star, like so. And yes, I realized that I'm probably picking these up really fast, but it, they just seem to be fairly spaced out a bit. Mostly due to the fact that, you know, I'm basically just sitting here going through the same exact dialogue every time. With like the whole prompts and stuff, oh you got a thing and you got another star, you got 135 stars. But I'm cutting all that out for you because no one wants to watch that. And for Green Star 3, we can actually see the star, the Green Star 3 itself, in this level really quick in this preview here. Look in the back, like right behind Toad, you can see there is the Green Star on that little plush green hill in the background. So, uh, I will actually do you guys a favor, and since we've already been through this galaxy a couple times in general, I will meet you towards the end of the level, because that is, the last planet is where the Green Star is. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, and here's the final planet. I just skipped ahead, you know, two planets and stuff. You, you haven't really missed much. It's just the same stuff we've seen from the other, you know, the other missions we've had that have actually been normal throughout this game. That bird stole my cloud. He took my cloud away because he ran into it like a jerk. Okay. Okay, another one right here. Not touching the water, of course, because we want to keep our cloud power up. So it's not even that big of a deal because they give you, like, what is the point of that? They have a cloud right here and then another cloud flower right. Like, why do you have to be so freaking like Jesus, dude? <laughs> like, you, you just you put enough clouds anywhere? I mean, I guess you just want to be nice and it's good for people just getting acclimated to using the cloud power up. But Jesus, I forget this is World One where they want to go very easy on you. I don't know. Just after doing World S, I'm kind of like lost for words at how easy they've made some of these things. But yeah, simply put, use the cloud Mario or cloud flower power up to create clouds over that little mound over there. And there is Green Star three out of three for this galaxy. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah. 
136 stars. That is a total of 16 stars since we have begun the green star journey. That is another galaxy complete. We have completed three more galaxies in this video. I'm just going to double check them for you really quick. We have gold, we have gold crown, the spindy galaxy, the right side down galaxy, and the fluffy bluff galaxy. And all that remains in world one now is to actually get the two green stars inside Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla. And we will be done with, with uh, world one, level one, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And we have a silver crown here now once we actually have ourselves a gold crown on every galaxy here like now that we've gotten all that squared away we only have one more galaxy to gold crown once we have that world one will officially be 100% complete and we'll get a gold crown on world one on the actual like universal world map but I think we're gonna save that till next time we're gonna finish off world one and then start world two so anyway guys I've been Miss Master one this has been episode 35 of Super Mario Galaxy 2 and the next episode, we finish off World 1's Green Stars with the Bowser Jr. level and get to see what some of the Green Stars are like in World 2. And honestly, when it, like World 1 has been fairly easy so far, but World 2 actually already kicks Green Stars up a fair notch and they start to get a lot more clever with their placement on them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode 36. See you later. <laughs> okay, that was good. Just take care, guys.